Okay, well, we're going to have a look at this uh, unit here, which is an IGBT driver, which is an isolated gate bipolar transistor type driver, um, which is pretty much a uh, variable frequency drive, which drives these three phase motors that you get in washing machines now, because uh, obviously, quite, quite noise operation and all that crud. Um, it's annoying for us uh, tinkerers because obviously using motors like that you're going to have to get a variable frequency drive and you're going to have to get this and you're going to have to get that so it's, it's not really worth it. Uh, Alright for scrap but trying to get the thing to work without using a VF drive, not a chance. Not a chance. Right, let's take the lid off then shall we? You know I said this might be the uh, washing machine was only five years old. Change my mind. Uh, seven years old. So, uh, might be even older, you just don't know. Right, how am I going to get into this thing? Easy brother, easy. This just clipped on, innit? Oh. Well, this thing's not going back together ever again. Bear with us. I don't know, I think this video might get a PG-13. Ooh, nice! Yeah, got a lot of tech on this. A lot of tech. Ooh, well, I wouldn't even know where to start. To be fair, scrap-wise, there's a fair bit. Yep. Um, but yeah. Scrap-wise, well, you got... Transformer, relay, relay, small transformer, um, the wiring, the alley heat sink there, uh, alley heat sink here. I think that's actually soldered to the PCB itself. And then uh, that's it, that's all I can really see. Uh, hmm. Not bad, not bad. But all this just to drive a little motor. Serious? All that. Absolutely ridiculous. Crazy, isn't it? All that time and effort, you know? Right. Let's get this out a bit more in. Let's do it. Alright, I think that, that thing there, is a uh, bridge rectifier. I think. I don't know. It's got signs on there saying it's a bridge rectifier. But I can't really see. Mr. Capacitor, you're going to have to go. I don't want to break that. <laughs> Washing machine engineers, look away now. <laughs> I wouldn't be touching that if that had just been switched on, boy. Sod that. Right, let's have butchers. I'm actually quite surprised no creepy crawlers are coming out here. Mm. I think that is. So I can confirm that is a bridge rectifier. Don't know what I'm precise. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and under here is all the MOSFET package. Um, I thought it was an RGBT, but it's not. It's a uh, transistor, basically. Could be wrong, but yeah, there's all the MOSFETs in there, I think. Mm. Right. Uh, that is pretty much it. A lot of doodads. Something as simple as driving a motor, telling when a pump to go on and off and a heating element to go on and off and all that crud. Interesting. So yeah, this is technically a quick look at and uh, bye bye of uh, yeah. So we'll uh, get the old big boy in.
Again, I don't need this. I just took it for the geek tools. I know this could have worked, but there's this is no point. There's no guarantee that it will last. Give a good service, so uh, be recycled. Oh, we got some good brass pins. They're brass? They've gotten hot, whatever they are. Yeah, they've got very hot. Yeah, that might have been why this thing died then. Keep the capacitors. Put them in for recycling, somewhere else. Yeah, this has gone hot, this has. Oh, y'all have it sometimes destroying stuff. Keeps her uh, busy for a while. Oops. Yeah, these, all these connections have gone hot. It's raining brass pins. Oh. Hallelujah, it's raining brass. La 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 la. Transformer, you're next. Now I'm either going to get a big fat blood blister or I'm going to score my hand. None of the above. Yep. Ow. Call it blood blister. And yes, before you say it, I have got tetanus. Thank you very much. And then... There we go. One big fat transformer. There's some decent coils. Then... Uh, leave that... We'll leave that bridge rake firing for a minute. It's not this is heat sink that's coming off. And then that'll be it. Nope. Just one bit in it. 